Hey Hunters, Lord here, back with another Title Update 5 set video. I did want to get this one out to you guys a little bit sooner, unfortunately I had a last minute business trip come up, and my timeline was pushed back a little bit. However, it's finally here and today's video is an update to our Rapid Fire Pierce 2 light bowgun set, which was voted on by you guys. Since we didn't really get any new insane gunner decorations or skills, this is mostly an update to how we can fit in the new title Update 5 Charms into the mix. I'll give you guys a basic no curio set that showcases the main skills that we want to prioritize. Then of course we'll talk about how to build on that with your curious augments. With that out of the way guys, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Starting off with the weapon, I'm still a really big fan of the chaotic gore light bowgun, but if you prefer Narga, Kuga, or Malzeno, that's totally fine as well. You'll just have to be aware that decorations and slot availability may change, and you'll have to change your augments to get the rampage slot up a little bit. Now, as I let the set play in the background, I do want to touch on some of the important pieces here. As you guys of course can see, my charm is really good with Pierce up level 3, Ballistics level 2, and 311 slots. Now, you don't need this exactly, and by melding for Pierce up in the Cyclist melding, you actually should be able to get your hands on a Pierce up level 3 charm without much fuss. Now, the important part of this charm is the Pierce up 3 with the level 3 slots. However, I know that you guys may not get that lucky. Now what we can do here is look at other areas where we have openings, like the Phoenix Jewel and the Weapon would be a great place to swap in a Salvo Jewel if you don't have room in the charm. You could also drop ammo up if you really want since we do have 3 levels to spare shot, which will help with that smaller clip size here on the Chaotic Gore Light Bowgun. The idea behind this set is to show you guys what the optimal skills are that we want to go for and how we can look to build it so that way you know what to look for with augments and charms once you see what you are missing from this basic set. Now of course you won't be able to copy me exactly since Charm RNG is even crazier now, but knowing what to look for and what we can drop and how to fit things in is a big part of set building in the endgame. So for starters we of course want to look to have the skills that you see here. Now we are a little overkill on affinity especially once we've cleared the bloodlust, but that's okay because it will pay itself back a little bit when you don't have the frenzy cleared and that extra affinity will be useful then. Now be sure that whichever light bow gun you end up choosing has enough recoil and reload to get fastest reload and low recoil, this is your number one priority. Pierce up is obviously a huge damage boost as well as rapid fire up. These two will be prioritized after reload and recoil but over any other skills, so if you can't fit them both feel free to drop something like attack boost to get them in. Since both of these are a 20% damage boost, these are clearly our number one priority as far as damage increasing skills go. Now I always like a level to steadiness, so that way we can eat for temper but still shoot in a straight line. Evade Extender is my personal choice so you can swap that out if need be. Now Bloodlust is necessary for the Chaotic Light Bowgun, but if you don't want to use it and if you're using something like the Nargakuga Light Bowgun for example, you could definitely feel free to swap out the Waste for another piece you prefer as well as drop some of the other crit skills. So now that you know what skills to look for from the get go, let's talk about our Curious Armor Augments and how these will supplement our skills. So the skills that I'm going to talk about are ones that you're going to want to look to add after you pick up the skills that we just looked at. Of course, I always say to get slots and slot upgrades, as this allows for more flexibility as you can change decos between hunts. If you get augments for any of the skills that we used as decorations, that will also then free up that decoration slot for another skill. For example, if you got rapid fire up as an augment, that would open up any of those level 3 slots that we used to utilize another deco that you would like. So shoot for something simple like this, don't get too caught up in getting insane augments, and just think critically about what would benefit your basic set. If you've done that, and you want a list of supplementary skills to add, I think that these would be pretty good. Starting with sneak attack level 3 for that massive 20% damage boost when attacking from behind the monster, this is especially good in multiplayer as the monster will have multiple targets and will always be charging straight at you. Adrenaline rush is a really nice bonus damage if you like that skill and are good at evading. I actually really like a single level to Powder Mantle, as it's actually not too difficult to activate even at level 1 on Light Bowgun, since we're getting so many Pierce ticks. Intrepid Heart is of course a great utility skill to have, I think Agitator would be very nice, and you could theoretically drop Max Might if you got all 5 levels to Agitator, and you could still hit 100% crit, even with the Chaotic Gore Light Bowgun. Wind Mantle isn't as good for Light Bowgun as it is for other weapons, but you will have quicker access to wyvern counters, and I don't think that'll hurt all that much, so you could definitely go for a single level to wind mantle. Blood Rite at level 1 is actually pretty decent too for healing during fights so you don't have to sheathe. And then of course you can use any other quality of life skills that you prefer, you can tuck those in here as well. 
Now, if you're having a tough time piecing this together and deciding which charms and augments you have that would be best, I do have a set builder linked down in the description of all my videos where you can enter your curious armors, you can enter your own charms, and then you can enter the skills that we're talking about now, and it will help you build a set using those things. So that's really all I have for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the set or found the video helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Be sure to subscribe for more Monster Hunter content just like this. I'll be putting out some more Title Update 5 bowgun sets, including a shield bowgun set coming out very soon. So be sure to stay subscribed for that so you don't miss it. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.